Hey, thanks for joining. I'm Scott Brittner, and I've created Fraud IQ to design training programs to help protect you against fraud. The training program that you're watching now is about specifically protecting you against debit card fraud. And this first lesson that you're watching is going to be an introduction to that series. Future videos in this series will dive deeper into the content, help identify schemes, figure out how you can stay protected from them, and if you are a victim, how you can resolve the issue and get your money back. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to this series so you get alerted to other videos. Data breaches with debit card data have happened at stores, ATMs, hotels, fast food, banks, and many other companies. So it's not a matter of if the event is going to happen, it's when which is why we need training programs like this to help educate you about what you can do. So what you're about to see are some videos of some normal everyday occurrences. And after you watch those, we'll come back and talk about uh, how that relates to you and the fraud that happens to you. Ever gone to an ATM, taken money out? May not be an everyday occurrence, but I'm sure you've done it at some point in the past. Watch how quickly this fraudster is able to drive up to an ATM and install what's called a skimming device, a device that will actually pull information off your card. How about the grocery store? Very simple event, right? Watch how quickly somebody is able to put on a skimming device over top a card reader. One guy simply diverts the attention of the cashier, the other person puts it on and less than eight seconds. When a skimmer has been installed, that means that the next people that come through and put their cards in there, those skimming devices actually pull information off the card and transmit it to the fraudster or the perpetrator. With that data, they can create what's called a counterfeit replica of your debit card. And lastly, in section three, we're going to talk about ways that you can identify and resolve this situation if it does happen to you. The first thing is on the very front end, as you pull up to a gas pump, an ATM, or you're in a grocery or convenience store, is how could you potentially identify if there's a skimmer on the device? First, look for signs of tampering. Look for any marks or something around the, the place where you put your card in. Secondly, wiggle it a little bit. I know that's crazy, but seriously, some of these devices lay right on top of the entire device or lay right on top of the place where you put your card. And if you start wiggling it, it may either pop off or at least feel a little odd and give you concern. Another way to identify if fraud has actually happened to you is by monitoring your transactions. Is even though you're looking at online banking and you see transactions in your city and therefore what you would consider normal activities like going to the grocery store or getting gas, just make sure that you or somebody in your household who uses your card actually did that transaction. Fraudsters have gotten extremely smart and a lot of times they will buy debit cards of people in the town where they live, so they try to fly under the radar. If fraud has happened to you, the way to resolve this, it is very simple. If you have a debit card and that debit card has a Visa or a MasterCard logo on the debit card, these are the steps. Call your bank. Pick up the phone, call the bank number on the back of the card, Dispute the fraudulent transaction, file a pr police report, because it is fraud, it is a crime. So that's it for this first lesson. Quick overview, giving you some ideas of how fraudsters are able to get access to your debit card information, but giving you ways to protect yourself, how you can try to identify if there's a skimmer on that device, how you can monitor your own transactions, and if it does happen to you, how you can call your bank, file the reports, and get the money back in your account. Thank you all for joining me today. I look forward to continuing sharing information to help protect you and your families against debit card fraud. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.